Okay guys, here it is. We finally finished the old mill mock. What I'm going to do is going to do a full tour of it today. I'll show you every single little detail that I've put into it. It's absolutely huge. Packed full of details. If you've been following on Instagram and following on YouTube, the other update videos, you'll have seen quite a bit of this already. So I'm going to race through it, show you the final bits that we've done on the top and the little bits of lighting that we've put into it as well. So externally, it's basically made out of lots and lots of uh, these modified masonry bricks. So these are dark orange and medium nougat. There's also some dark tan thrown in there and a little bit of light bluish gray. And we've got sand blue for the windows. I just thought it would work really, really well with the, the earthy colors for the bricks. And it's three stories. Bit of a modern um, feel to the top floor. Uh, the story is that it was a converted mill and the top floor was just completely converted to make space for this cinema. So I'll show you all that in a bit of detail a bit later on. And we've got a few little details on the side here with these gold reliefs. You can make up your mind what they're supposed to be. But just a few bits I'd left over, just a bit, a bit of detail on that end there. Got a lot of these silver swirl pieces on here, just had a bit more detail as well. And it's just basically tiled off with just dark grey, dark bluish grey tiles. A couple of plants here, this is your entrance down here. A couple of fancy little door handles. And then just on this side we've got the ivy covered chimney. I may in the future make this chimney a bit higher. It just depends if it's going to fit upstairs. It just kind of tapers up. Fairly simple building techniques. And it's not really hollow inside, but yeah, it's pretty strong. A little bit of end detail on this gable here. The roof's basically just supposed to look like a corrugated iron roof, so just these rail pieces and um, just threw a different few different colors in there so there's some old gray in there as well a few other different colors just to look a bit like deterioration on the roof there's even i suppose this looks like maybe you have a vent up here and then the cinema sign which i'll show you shortly does illuminate and a few more details just around here these are I think Spider-Man spider pieces on here. So let's show you what's going on inside, floor by floor. I'm going to race through this. You, you can look at the previous videos to want more detail on the building of each of these individual units. But just across our left here, we've got our first unit, which is our bike shop. Bikes in there, bike accessories, some nice racking on the wall, some custom signage. Here's our shop owner down here with his little till. One customer. Got some helmets over here. And then you come out of the bike shop. Nice little tiled floor area for the mill. And this is our bookstore, which is packed to the rafters with books. So like I say, you've seen all this in previous videos. You want to look back, you can see these in more detail. 
lots of different books in there, just basic building techniques and a few printed pieces. Nice little plant build in the corner. And there's also a couple of chests with more books in and some storage underneath. Takes us down to the end to our little coffee shop. Still unnamed. I will make some custom signs for these. It's quite nice inside. Got a long bench table here and another small table in the corner there. And we've got one customer buying a takeaway coffee. Nice big coffee machine in the corner there. There are some snacks, just cakes. Tiny little sink in the corner. Back door, that's the only rear door to the building. And just a custom sign up there. And we've also got a little fridge in the corner here. And this is our nice staircase that takes us up to the next floor. It's almost a floating staircase. Again, fairly simple techniques. So you come up those stairs to here and the first shop right in front of you is our sweet shop, our candy shop. And this is absolutely packed full of different chocolates. Got jars of sweets behind. This poor guy must be one of his feet because he's the only person that seems to be working here. Some of the dots, printed pieces to represent different sweets down here. Uh, a nice tiled floor. And then we've got some jars across in the corner here with some. These are hundreds and thousands in here just to represent sweets. It works pretty well though. And then just a couple of printed tile pieces for decoration. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I love the colours in this. Again, we've got to get a name for this yet. Then moving on, we come to our game shop. And this is the smallest unit in the entire complex. And it is packed full of, uh, these are supposed to represent games and the yellow crate in the corner. And there's a few games consoles down there. Again, like I say, you can see this in another video much more clearly. If you watch the updates, got some mobile phones and games controllers down here. And then just boxes full of more stock. And we've decorated the wall with some more pictures and stickers from the Ninjago book. Then we move along to possibly my favourite store on this floor in the whole complex even, and it's a toy shop. And these are the toy stickers from the sticker sheet that Lego released ooh, two or three years ago now. So I thought I'd use these. It's the only named shop up here so far. So you come into the toy shop, you've got a large display of soft toys here. And then some action figures, a few of the bits and bobs on there. This is supposed to represent a little slot car track. You can play when you come in the store. We've got Lego over here, obviously. Just moving around to this side, here's our cash desk. With our rather snazzily dressed shopkeeper. Got some weird dinosaur eggs in the corner over here. Skateboard. And a couple of large displays in the window. We've got our giant blue robot and our micro scooter. Takes us out back out to another very similar staircase, slightly staggered as you can see, and that takes us up to our cinema floor. So you initially come up the stairs here, there are some directional arrows to take you to the cinema and the desk, and here's our custom now playing sign. And if I just move her, you can see we've got a ticket sign there which is from, I believe, the Winter Train Station set. So it works perfectly. And she is selling popcorn, a little popcorn machine in the corner there. Donuts, drinks, there's a drinks fridge across in the corner. And this is also where you get your tickets for the cinema. And just behind there is a large freezer, which is for the ice cream. Just to the left, so there's loads of ice cream in there. More stock. And this is our ice cream shop, our ice cream vendors. There's loads of different colours in there, representing different ice cream flavours. Pretty happy with how this turned out. 
There's also saucers and different sprinkles on the side. Got a nice little cash register. Another cash register over there, by the way. We've got some whippy ice cream as well and cones across on the back there. Just a few more little details. And then just in this corner, we've got a large freezer with more ice creams. So it's an openable freezer. And then just a little sort of basic seating area so you can look out the windows. And pretty funky floor. Which I wasn't sure about at first, but it seems to have turned out pretty well. I quite like the colours, actually. And then we've got a attendant in the corner and the door that takes you through to the cinema. So this is our cinema. 16 seats in here. They've got the cup holders. And this is just a brick stuff 4.3 inch screen. And this is what you get when you buy one of those. It's got a speaker and a cable and everything's built into it basically. It's pretty cool. Um, this is what it looks like playing. So pretty happy with it. It looks like a proper proper cinema inside. We just built our own little custom surround. And it's just connected up to a USB pack just to power it. Just a few people in here today, but yeah, you can see the seats more. Um, these do go backwards and forwards. The best that could come with for the cup holders, but you can put a stud on there and hold things on there, which works pretty well. And we've just got some custom posters on the side. Pretty basic in here. Stepped up the carpet on the side just to get to the back. And then this roof just goes back on. Pretty simply like this. This whole unit is removable. So this is our cinema sign. Red film in there and we've got a, a light in there built in. It's just one of those lights that you get for like small tight spaces. Got some battery in there, rechargeable battery, and I just built this whole housing around it, but I may tie this up at some point. We'll show you that cinema scene, cinema sign rather, lit in a minute. And then for our roof over here, these are just brick built. And they just sit in place basically. It's a little bit tight, but one goes there. The other one just sits on there beautifully. And this is just a massive long row of one by one studs, uh, sorry, one by one bricks uh, for the rich tiles at an angle. Just sits on top. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this roof turned out. Just very, very simple again nothing everything in this mock is very very simple building techniques there's nothing complex in here this is what our cinema sign looks like lit up in the daytime doesn't look very good but if i turn the lights off you'll see what it looks like at night time which is the idea that you can see the cinema lit up head towards it in the city and this is what it looks like lit up at night time guys it looks great i think i think it really looks exactly what I was looking to do. When you get a bit close up, it doesn't look the most amazing. You can see the light, but there's three layers of red film in there, which I'll show you in a sec, but certainly from a distance, which is what I wanted. You can see the lettering pretty well. Not sure how well you can see this, but this is just basically one of those, well, seven or eight quid off Amazon. And it just sits in there. And then this red film was about a pound off Amazon for two or three sheets. And I just cut that into the lettering, basically. Simple as that. 
cheap lighting solution and it works pretty well and that's it there we go guys hope you enjoyed that glad to get this one finished it's been a good two months just getting this built uh, trying to move on to another project now let me know your thoughts on this mock what's your favorite part of it is there anything that you think could be improved as always, I'll probably tinker with this a little bit more and add things to it. We'll get it in the city. We'll see how it looks. We'll build around it. I'm hoping it fits. And um, thank you so much for your support, guys, by the way. Edging up towards a 1,000 subscribers. I wouldn't do this if you weren't interested in watching. Please, if you don't already, do follow me on Instagram. It's Brickloft Lego. So you'll see shots on there, pictures, posts, probably before I put anything onto YouTube. And uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. You just click on subscribe. You don't have to watch my videos if you don't want to, but it does massively help me out if you do subscribe. Please do leave a like, leave a comment. I love your feedback. And thank you so much for watching. I'll create something new very, very soon. And look out for that. And please do keep following for more. Thanks so much, guys. Love you all. Look out for another video very, very soon, and I will see you for that really, really, really soon.